Lloyd Minster teachers braved the cold weather as they participated in the second day of province-wide walkouts. They walked with signs and waved at passing vehicles showing their support. Teachers are looking to reduce class sizes and increase the support for classroom complexities they see like learning issues and mental health challenges. But according to Derek Armstrong, the government is not willing to discuss those proposals. The, the government has walked away from the table. Uh, the government is only willing to talk about one of the proposals that we brought forward, and that, that proposal is salary. Uh, the other proposals uh, take front or state, fr uh, center stage at this point, and uh, teachers are willing to kind of let the salary negotiation uh, happen at the end of the, the contract negotiations. The class sizes and complexities provincial schools are facing have big effects on both teachers and students. You know, we're at class sizes that are 34 plus and we're seeing um, more and more students who need the support in the classroom and they just don't have it. You know, you have some of these students who don't have that support and maybe they are falling through the cracks and it's not fair. The teachers don't have so many people to pay attention to, so then you can't learn as much. No matter the person, everyone participating is here for the same reason. This is for students and teachers and learning in our community um, and this is this is important. If we don't do this now, when are we going to do this? It's for the students and if we fund education and support our students, we'll have a strong future here in Saskatchewan. If a deal is not made soon between the Saskatchewan Teachers Federation and the provincial government, strikes like these could happen more often and with less notice. For Primetime Local News, I'm Ben Lowan.